First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Alex Puckett. Lots of sunshine across Mississippi and Alabama. A few showers and thunderstorms back down along the Gulf Coast. But uh, for the vast majority of Mississippi and Alabama, dry and mostly sunny to kick things off. This is a view from Columbus in our Alpha Insurance Sky Cam. Temperature up to 86. Was the wind out of the southeast at 13 miles an hour. It's a little bit breezy out there to kick off our afternoon. Those wind speeds in that sort of 10 to uh, 15 mile an hour range across a lot of the area, and that's helping things feel a little bit cooler. Temperatures sitting in the mid 80s for most of us. But again, that breeze helping things out as it comes through every once in a while. Here's the future cast as we go through the rest of the afternoon. We could see an isolated shower pop up. Generally south of Highway 82, these would be very isolated in nature and they would not drop much rain. I have taken the rain chance off the board today. I'm not going to totally rule out a shower, but the rain chance just doesn't make it up to 10%. And so because of that, we're not going to have a rain chance on the seven-day forecast. But just know it's not totally out of the question that you can see a shower. Temperatures today are going to be topping out in the upper 80s up to around 90 as we head into the afternoon. So still very hot, feeling a lot like summer out there as we go through the day today. We've got some activity in the tropics. This is now Hurricane Michael has been upgraded uh, earlier this morning. Sustained winds at 75 miles an hour. This is now pushing uh, off to the east of uh, Cancun and Cozumel, moving north into the Gulf of Mexico. The latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center has this continuing to strengthen as it enters more favorable conditions for development into uh, the Gulf water. So warm water, low wind shear, it's going to have what it needs to develop likely into a major hurricane before it makes landfall. Most likely area for landfall is going to be somewhere east of Pensacola back towards the big bend of Florida, uh, probably sometime Wednesday into early Thursday. So that's obviously something we're going to be keeping an eye on. Doesn't look like it's going to have any direct impacts on our weather though. Tropical storm watches in effect all the way down from Around Venice, Florida, back towards Bayou La Battery, uh, in the western coast of Alabama. Hurricane watches from around Suwannee, Florida, back towards Pensacola. And these will likely be upgraded to warnings as we go later on into the next 24 to 48 hours. And this storm starts to approach the coastline. Here's the future cast. And again, you can see it taking Michael into the panhandle. No direct impact, although with this front approaching from the north and west Wednesday, perhaps it gives us a little bit of extra moisture uh, and a little bit better chance for some showers and storms as this front pushes through on Wednesday. Back behind this front, finally, our first taste of some fall-like weather. We see a significant cool down for the second half of the week. Here's a seven-day forecast, and you'll note that big temperature drop. Highs back down into the 70s for the second half of the week. Overnight lows dropping down into the low 50s. So feeling like fall, maybe you can dust off those sweaters and fall jackets uh, as we head into the end of the week. Eric?